What's going on? I'm Kevin Hart. Right now, you're watching season three of Cold as Balls. What's up, man? Okay. Welcome, sir. It's all good. It's all good. Hey, uh, take your robe, put your robe there, then we'll go around getting in the tub. I'm excited to have you on, man. Oh, come on, man. Big day. So we start off, because it takes me a second to get in the tub. All right. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Hmm? Should be used to this, right? Well, no. No, I'm not. Right. Never will be. Right. I don't know why anybody would. Mm. It's cold water. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Ooh, sh. We got an amazing guest on the show today. We got Dennis Rodman. Well, that's, that's Kevin Hart, right? Yeah, I am Kevin Hart. So. Right, cool, man. Should I call you V Dennis Rodman or just Dennis Rodman? you ambassador. Ambassador? I like that. <laughs> right, ambassador. I'm a fan of the legend of Dennis Rodman. There was a couple players back in the day that made being rough, being tough cool. Was this something that was done on purpose or did you slowly get into that? No, I had to work myself into a position to be a player. I came from Dallas in the projects. Okay. And uh, I told my mother, I said, you know what? I'm not coming back unless I make something for myself. You know? Oh, That's only, I never went back for three years at all. And those guys actually looked at me at a rec center down the street from my house. And uh, I was very fortunate that they saw me and that gave me opportunity. Wow. Were you a tough kid? Back in high school, I used to be a mother's boy. I was more like just a, just a follower because, you know, living in projects, you got to, well, other kids do, you do. Yeah. So basically, I got caught up in that, that game. Went to jail, still in Washington at the airport. How many times have you been to jail? Oh, my God. Is that many? You just looked up to the sky. I saw it. <laughs> I saw it. I saw, it. I saw you look up at the sky. Is, is that like back then or like the last 10 years? Let's get okay. more in the tub. Are we going deep? Yeah, let's go in. We're uh, going in. Come on, Dennis. We got to go. All right. All right, you you get in first. I can't get in first, man. Yeah, I ain't been in the in years. In years, dude. Come here. Come here. God. <laughs> <laughs> What they say about black people, we hate cold shit. Yeah, yeah, it only takes me a long time each episode to get in it. All right. So, when I say how many times you been in jail? Raw ballpark, ballpark number. My lifetime? Yeah, how many times? I said over 100. Over 100 goddamn times? Yeah. In jail? I was having too many parties at my house. Mm -hmm. And for seven years straight, it was like seven days a week. God! Dennis? Seven days, seven days a week, 24-7. Uh, Dennis, real quick, uh, just give me a second to, to right. pay some bills. Yes, sir, sir. Uh, White Hand, uh, thank you. I just want to say that this uh, episode is brought to you by Old Spice. That's right. We got something called the Sweat Defense. Dennis, I know you know about that because you played a lot of defense, man. Thank you, Old Spice, and everything you do for us here at Coles Balls. Thank you, White Hand. Uh, there's a lot of things that I've heard, but you know, you can't believe everything you hear. Wait, so so hearing it come out your mouth. Wait, that's this true. Come yes. on, my mouth is true. I heard you broke your dick like three times. <laughs> three times, yeah. That's the truth. Yep, that's the truth. The hospital term, you know, if you pull your pants down, he said, Oh, I know what that is. He said, I said, what is he said? You, know, you got a contusion of your Wait, <laughs> That's a contusion? Wait, that's what the fuck is a contusion? Wait a second, of what? <laughs> a contusion. A contusion? That's a contusion. contusion. I said, what the fuck is that? Of your c yeah. This is education for yeah. all men out there yeah. Yeah. that have had contusions. That's what I'm saying. No man. need to feel confused anymore because there was a contusion on your <laughs> Right? True story. This is breaking news right here on Coldest Balls. <laughs> and by breaking, I do mean <laughs> literally breaking news. Right. <laughs> do me a favor, take your stool out so we can get all the way in. Yep. Ooh, woo. There you go. Thank you, white hand. There you go. Uh, I'm in, Kevin. What's up, baby? Oh, yeah. No, no, no. no. I know you're shorting things, but what, what's up? Here we go. Don't threaten me with a good time. How many times you do this show a day? Hey, well, you know I... What do you use? Baby lotion? Well, that's just... Baby oil? Baby lotion? That's it. Uh, that's KY? Cool. What you got? Here, white right hand. Take this. Okay. Ah, oh, So, question for you. Mm. What was it like playing, you know, with Michael Jordan? At that time, you know, there's ooh and on constantly around right. about the the quote unquote go. And how was your relationship with Mike? It was cool. I, I think when I went to Chicago, yeah, that's a great story though. What you going to Chicago? Yeah. Well, well don't, don't threaten me yeah. with a good time and not tell me about it. The son and Tony, Greg Popovich was the GM. He didn't like me at all. Why? I wasn't the church going guy. Yeah. David Robinson called me the devil. David, so, David called you that. He called me the devil. <laughs> I said, okay, man, whatever. <laughs> so he said, you need to pay me to be nice. <laughs> you pay me to win. <laughs> you know, I love David. David was a good guy, but Papa Prince wanted me to get out of there so bad. So he traded me to Chicago for Will Perdue. Straight up. Here's your yeah. Get the f yeah, out. We'll take Will Perdue. <laughs> Give us Will <laughs> Perdue. <laughs>
Y'all get the devil. All right. <laughs> so anyway, so uh, I go to Chicago, and we had a press conference. I had two of my dogs with me, German Shepherds, and we next thing you know, I took off my hat, and I turned my head around. I had red hair with a bull emblem on, on the back of my head. Holy cow. And uh, he said, you're officially uh, Chicago Bulls. And Phil asked Mike and Scotty, do you guys mind that it's been on this team? They said, yeah. If you want to win, it's win. So I got there. Y'all got just, there, and it was it was on up from that. It was from that point on. When you were in Chicago, you know, there's a lot of heavy press that came with you. The one that I remember is when you married yourself. When you when you put on the wedding dress. That's why that guy's kind of up. Explain that. And I was doing a, a book signing thing in New York. I was in a hotel. I said, what should I do? What what should I wear? So I just came with this thing and said, how about I just wear a wedding dress and I married myself? It just came to me just out the blue. And this famous guy from London came down and said, okay, great. We'll make you a dress. And next thing I said, okay, let me have eight women that's gonna, you know, be my bridesmaid, what you wanna call them. Mm -hmm. And uh, they dressed in tuxedos and I had like a horse and carriage. I'm looking around these buildings, that's like a ticker tape parade. Yeah. And people don't still know it's me. Mm -hmm. I still had the veil on and stuff like that. So I walked in, I'm signing books and stuff like that. So I took it off. It was me. And people were like, oh, sh he got us. <laughs> <laughs> and the whole thing just, I'm going to be free. I want people to understand that it's okay to be free and be fine with all that comes with it. When I was doing tattoos for anybody I thought about doing tattoos, I was going to David Stern's office in New York. He said, if you do any more tattoos, we're going to kick you out. I'm like, what? So basically, that just fueled the fire right there. I said, okay, great. I would have got a tattoo that night. Then I just kept getting tattoos, piercing, and started doing, kept doing my thing, loving my gay community. Then all of a sudden, the NBA said, wait a minute, we got something here. We got something with this guy because everyone started to love it. <clears throat> Back then, guys didn't have tattoos, guys no. didn't have piercings, guys couldn't say what they want to say. If they did say what they want to say, all of a sudden they pay a fine for it, mm -hmm. or they pay the penalty. Me, it was more like, whatever, guys, take it or leave it. When you look at all of the players in the There's NBA players, now that right. covered their sleeves, right. the necks, or whatever, right. it came from someplace. You see people that's in hospital, doctors, you see saying policemen having tattoos. So yeah. <clears throat> everything is so acceptable now. My aunt Thelma's got a tattoo on her neck that says it is what it is. Right. She's older, so it's gotta be stretched out to right. see it say it is what it is. But when it's like this, it looks like it say well, like, right. it is, because right. right. you can't see all the words, because she gained some weight in her neck. She, whatever, that's a long story. Okay. Uh, but it's a good segue into get into love, because I love my aunt. And you've had your share of love. Yeah. How long were you with Carmen Electric? I don't know, 10, 15 days. Wait a minute, what? So we go to Vegas, we go on a private plane, we go there, we go to Hard Rock, and I'm downstairs drinking like a fish. <laughs> we go to the Little White Chapel. She's like, you know, your size, five for nothing. Well, that's nice. So, it's like, you know, so just said, <laughs> what? That's factual information. Whatever, man. Five, Whatever five, it is. Five, five. <laughs> five, five. Maybe. Okay, so she's like 4'11. Yeah. Well, anyway, we, we stand in there, and guys said, well, you know, He's, he's just going through this whole ritual of, you know, this this symbolizes, da, 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 this, and I'm like, okay, I'm just, okay, this mother. Just break it down with marriage. I said, I said, I said, wait a minute, hold on. Can I say something? I said, you need to hurry the fuck up before I change my mind, okay? Got that. Wow. So he said, okay, great, do so you? Man, it. <laughs> so, 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 I don't care what about What the f? <laughs> wait a Wait a second, Dennis. Daryl, where'd you get that? What's up with the chain? Well, obviously somebody has some influence. What is going on, man? Where'd you get all these f piercings? Did you do this? Well, I don't know about that. Well, did he go to your guy? It's up to him. You don't just show up to work like this without me knowing. This, this, we, this is, this will be addressed. All right, so Carmen Ledger, I used to have a very small person. Madonna was kind of short. That's why you were with Madonna, too. Yeah, she was cool. Y'all still cool? Yeah, well. Oh, got a relationship. Like, you guys, right. if you saw her, you was like, hey, Madonna, what's up? You would speak. Well, not love y'all. That's pretty legendary. Well, legendary. there's more girls, but we ain't gonna get into that. Oh, God, Dennis. Well, yeah. that's how you got the contusion. <laughs> bam, bam. I know you had some contusions. He's with you, too? Bam, bam. Uh, has been with me for a while. He's a little more reserved. You know what else I want to know about? Kim Jong Un, like you, the Kim relationship Jong -un, there. Yeah. First of all, how were you friends? Your it wasn't friend. dope in the beginning. Like, how did it happen? And he loved Chicago Bulls. He contacted Michael first, and Michael Jordan just like, no, I'm not doing that. So the next guy he asked was me. He said, okay, Dennis, you want to go to 
North Korea. They didn't say Kim Jong Un. They said, "You want to go to North Korea?" I immediately said yes. And I'm thinking it's like an autograph show. And next thing you know, the Harlem Grove was doing an exhibition over there in uh, North Korea. So they asked me to be on the team. So basically, we get off the plane. We walk into this um, private <laughs> hangar. We got 20,000 North Koreans oh my God. in the stadium. They're all in black and white. And all of a sudden, everybody stands up, clapping, clapping, clapping. And they stand up and they turn around towards me. Everybody's crying. And I'm like, I'm thinking they, they are cheering me. I looked over, I said, I said, who's that little guy right there? Holy cow. They said, that's our supreme leader. I said, supreme leader what? Oh, you know, no. He said, oh, no, that's no. our leader. So he said, uh, <clears throat> so how you like our country? I'm like, that's cool. Yeah. I'm just sort of stuff like that. Then all of a sudden, we start talking about Chicago Bulls. Great segue just, into the just, Bulls. Just, just, how just, you like our country? Mm-hmm. I think it's cool. Yeah. The Bulls are my favorite best friends. We're bringing good friends after that. What do you guys do when you hang out? We hang, we play basketball. Do you do shit. things to make him feel like he can play? Or are you ever like, all right, f- it, I'm going to play for real to show you ain't shit. Get that shit out of here. <laughs> no. <laughs> when last time did you talk to him? Last shit. He, they always call. Really? I got flip phones. What's going on? You know you know what year this is, right? My phone's always tapped. Oh, sh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the people don't know that. If people finally knew that, my tap phones are always tapped. Who just told you to do that? Kim <laughs> Jong just did that? Who's in the headset? What? <laughs> Holy sh. You know, this is the part of the show where I normally let you ask. Kim Jong Un. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Normally, this is the part of the show right. where I would get you to ask me questions and I would answer them. Right. But we're not going to do that because people are listening. Stop, stop. Kim Jong Un. I hear you, man. Okay, Dennis. Dennis, I would say I'll call you, but I'm never calling you. Kim Jong Un, I'm not your problem. That's not a trust problem. He'll turn cold as balls into right. a fool. Government-issued situation. <laughs> You're fired and so are you. Right. Until I know what the f- is in those microphones. Uh, uh, I just want to apologize if y'all listening to anything that you think was wrong. We are sorry at Coldest Balls, okay? All of us are. And uh, Dennis, you were a great guest. You listening to me, Kim? Oh my God. I'm sorry and I love Jesus. Jesus Christ. Where's my... Russell, meet me in the back! This whole set is tapped!